praise and I'm from here. Praise and I'm from coach. Here is coach. Here is by a coach. Just fruit of the alwal. And in I'm from here, Jesus Christ. I pray to all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Say Amen. And the other bullies are known, they come and they go in Costa. The other bullies are known, they come and they go see a place of Christ. Costa, the other bullies are known. In Africa, the Hood, the Alma, and the Nam Fanier, Jesus Christ. In Costa, Mole, the known, they come and they go see a place of Christ. Amen. Now I can. It's a time now to speak the word of God. It's a time now to read the Bible. What is the Bible? The Bible is a book from God. This is the word of God. How to use the time? Because God wants to have time with Him every day. This is very careful. God created us. All human race, all human race come from God. Because the Bible says in the beginning, in the book of Genesis chapter 1, chapter 1, verse 1, the Bible says God is created the heaven and the earth. What is on the heaven? What is on the earth? If you see God created in heaven angels and the, and, the, and the cloud and the star and the sun uh, and the big uh, moon, what is on earth? Trees, stone, animal, sea. Bush, mountain, plant, every creation, uh, creation of the Lord. What did I speak about the animal? Animal, some cow, some goats, some sheep, a lot of animal. But after they God created animal in our in the world and the heaven. Create a human being. God said, let us create the man, our image. Let us create the people, our image. Let us, let us create the human being, our image. So, listen. Uh, listen, children. Listen, listen, everyone. God said, let us create our creation from our image. So you sitting there, share, you are the image of God. God doesn't create a human being like an animal. Animal is the uh, God speak about the word animal. Create a white part. The human being when God said, let us create the man that our image. You see, you are the image of God. What is the God? He's our creator. He's created us. First people create first thing. Our if Adam. God created Adam. Adam when come from the coming from the dust on the ground on the dust. God formed us. Remember the uh, the Bible is there. Genesis. Genesis chapter 1. Listen very careful. Genesis chapter 1 and start to read uh, verse 7. Genesis chapter chapter 1. Verse 26 first is only. Verse 26. God, then God said, let us make men in our image. 
in our likeness and let us rule over the fish and the sea and the beach on the, the air over to the last, last stop and all the, the earth listen that they will say God then God let us make man in our image in our likeness so you are the image of God you are not the God if you if you see the people if you see men if you see human beings is the image of God. But firstly, what the first people got to create it? Adam. And the next person, Eve. What? Chapter 2. And read chapter 2. Start to verse 7. Says, The Lord God former the man from the dust of the ground and the bread out to the yes. God formed the man in the ground of the dust so Adam is God formed him in the dust of the ground and then you all of human beings on earth is come from the Adam and Eve. And then after that God created him, uh, the created uh, uh, Adam, created him. In life, in life in it is in so you are the image of God. Listen now. But all the people shall read the book, the book of, of Romans chapter 3. Chapter 3 and start, and start to read verse and start to read verse 23. The Bible says verse, 20, verse 21. But now uh, verse 23 and the so all we have seen and fell short of the the glory of God. All of us who have seen, all human beings we have seen, we have seen before God, we are sinners. Even the children, the mother, uh, that carry on the, uh, the room of the mother, we have seen already. The children is not the angels. Because after we, the, after the mother produced the children, you see the other children uh, swelling. You see? Swelling. And other one speak lies. And other one stealing. Stealing. But if you go to school, you are stealing the pen, you stealing the money, you stealing something. You see? And you swelling, speak wrong, speak rude. Because we are a sinner. That's why now all of us, the Bible says, all of us, we are guilty before God. We are guilty before God. That's why Jesus said in the book of Mark, chapter 10. Book of Mark, chapter 10, and verse 13 says, Let my children come to me. Let my children come to me. And Jesus said, the book of Matthew chapter 8, chapter 11, verse 28, Come to me, all we are heavily binded. Come to me. So it's only way can take out the sin, our sin out. Save us from sin. Because you see that all of us are fish shot from the grace of God. But Jesus Christ is come for us to save all nations, save everyone, die for all nations. No matter you are, what is on your way, that you are Africa, you are cross, you are so, you are so, 
you are Thailand, you are China, you are England, you are English people, doesn't matter who, doesn't matter who you are, but all of us, we are getting different from So we need us to found salvation through Christ Jesus Christ. So it's only way can save our life. It's only Jesus has come for this way to save the sinners, to save those who have lost all nations, everyone. Jesus died for all, died for all of us. So it's only way now can found it. But salvation, we must believe. Believe. That's why the book of John, chapter 3 and verse 16 says, For God to love the world, that he gave the only son, so that everyone will believe in him. We should not perish. We shall have eternal life. Found in salvation. Those who believe in Jesus Christ. No matter who you are, no matter how we are rich, no matter how we are poor, no matter what the kind of the people, no matter that they are educated, we are not educated, but it's only way can save your life is only Jesus. That's why I don't preach the church. I don't preach our tradition. Even me, my brother, man. but the day uh, before I can say, before I received Jesus Christ, I was a uh, worship and sister. I was worship and sister through our, through our families. But when I accept the Lord Jesus Christ, oh my God, my life was changed. That time I left, uh, my, open, my, uh, my eyes were uh, open because I live in the darkness. Because God said his word, we are not worship other God without me. I am jealous God. We not worship at the, uh, the star. We not worship the sun, the moon. We not worship uh, any image of the earth. And then after I received Jesus Christ as my personal savior, my life was changed at that time. I changed. I never go that time. I never go to a grave, to, to, to the grave. Because the, the belief, the social people, they like that, 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 that kind of the worship and see that. They like to go to the, to the grave. To go to the grave, to speak to the ancestors there. And to go to the altar. We have an altar. You know, at that altar, if you uh, step at the hole, and then to take the, uh, the horn of the skull or on the pole. We put in the pole. We put in the pole. And then to come to speak that horn. Yes. Uh, for all your, your, your relationship. Uh, for all. What uh, is it? To go. For. Uh, say, if you are the, maybe a cosa, maybe I say you are the uh, clan. Let me know clan. Plain name, yeah. yeah. Speak all that plain name. Yeah. Speak it, speak to it. Speak for that dead people. That thing is for them. After I receive Jesus Christ, I leave. I no more to go and worship my sister. I no more to go to bow and pray. I'm going to I no more to go to bow and people like dead people. But only now to save the Lord Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ changed my life. That's why the Bible said, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. We must born again. When I born again, when I receive Jesus, I know the truth and the truth set me free. Now I worship Jesus only. That led people to my family. Eh, Never calling me now to come and worship there. I say now, I worship only Jesus, my Lord and my Savior. I never worship any ancestor. I never worship any family. I never worship anyone. Never bow to the human race. 
human being are the only power to God, our God, our creator. God is in the heaven and the earth because God said, I, we shall not have other God without me. So you can find the salvation is only the name of the Lord Jesus. All the nations, all the people who have our own background, we have our own cultures. Even the, the, the school, we have our own culture. Even I speak about the Gosa, I have my own culture. And the English people and the Africans, of all the nations, we have our own culture. But that culture will never save you. Your life is only one thing can save your life. Believe in Jesus Christ. As your special like a savior. Because the Bible says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Hallelujah. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. And the Bible says, we never please God. We never please God. If you not believe, you must have faith to God. Can read the Bible says the book of Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. Uh, start to read the verse 7. Said, the verse 7 said, Because the sinful mind it is lost to God, that it is not submit to God. Law, you see, not submit God's law. The sinful nation. That's why, after I see Jesus Christ, I live a sinful nation. Now I am a nation of God. A nation of God to me, Holy Spirit. I was baptized in the Holy Spirit. Because the Bible said, you must believe and baptize. Jesus said, you must baptize and believe and to be baptized. And then after that, I'll never baptize in the water. No. I stopped that there. After I see Jesus, I was baptized in the river. I was baptized in the river. You see, many water not uh, not in the, take a uh, cup and say we baptize make you holy. No. In the Africans, what is the meaning of the baptize? Must walk in walk. If you take a breath, eh? if you take a breath eh? and a cup, oh, 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 and a cup. You see, in the cup and put water there, and then you put that bread inside, you must cook. As I go in the river, when I believe in Jesus Christ, in the water, I was broke in the name of Jesus Christ. So my life can be made me be you, be born again. Because Jesus said, we must believe and baptize in the water, we shall be saved. So it's only way to baptize, to believe in the word of God, and then to receive the Holy Ghost, to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a seed, seed us. You are the children of God. You belong to God. You belong to Jesus. We never satisfy the flesh when I baptize in the Holy Spirit. Because the Bible said, we never, the, those, we never condemn those who
The gift of God is life. What is the gift of God? Is Jesus. He is the narrow way. The way born heaven. So that we must be born again. If you born again, your life shall be changed. That's why uh, I think more than 30, three years, I make a bond of Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't forget that day. When I make a bond of Jesus Christ in my life, my life will change. Because the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he's the new creation. All things is passed away. Behold, all things become new. Well, be in Christ, not be in the church. Because the day, the people is going to church for us, go to the church, and then after that, go to the sea, live to the, to the world things, live all the things of the darkness. Because the life is never changed. But if you baptize in the water, in the Holy Spirit, the life will be changed. And it's good. It's only one thing. You must be good. Indeed. And receive Jesus as your special Jesus. And confess your sins. Confess your sins. Say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner, but I give my life to you today. I give my life. It's only you can change me. All the age which I will stand before God, even the children and the day of the judgment, we can stand before your God. I, tell, I, I say, firstly, we are not the angels. These children, we have the sinners because we know the wrong and right. But if you must be, you must be take your life to come to Jesus. Because Jesus said, "Let my children come to me." What is the reason? Say, Jesus, let my children come to me. You want to save your life. Hallelujah, my dear, how mighty Jesus. Hallelujah. We shall be back now. Shall be pray now. Very important. To be born again. Mama, to be believed in Jesus. It's only you can save your life. If you say so, Lord, I am a sinner. It's only the way. It's only you, Jesus, can save me. But I surrender my life. Don't do it again. Everyone, let us thank you. Shall we pray? Hallelujah. If you say your life today, I don't want to go to hell. I want to go to hell. I want to go to the other Please, Jesus, save my life. As for the case, we come and make a finish. And look what? We come and make a finish. Hallelujah. Everyone stand up and stay quiet before God. Give over the will of God. Come, let, let's be quiet before the Lord. Come, let's be quiet. I want you all to bow your heads now. Every voice be quiet now. Only the voice of the Holy Spirit through the Bible can talk to us now. The children be quiet now. Hebrews chapter 5 said this. God said today, when you hear my voice today, is the day of repentance. Today. We heard what Pastor Chona, Chona just told us through the Bible. Today you have to make a serious decision. To say, Lord, I am a sinner. I need you. Because you, my, me, myself, don't know if I'm going to open up my eyes tomorrow. And the Lord said in Hebrews chapter 5, Today, if you hear my voice today, the Bible makes it very clear in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, that ch chapter 5 verse 21, that God said that Jesus Christ who, know, no, who knew no sin, He made Him sin for us. So that we can become righteous for God in Christ Jesus our Lord and Savior. Jesus who knew no sin became sin for us on the cross. Now I want to ask you, close your eyes and think about this. What I just told you, Pastor Jonah, and make a decision in your heart. 
If you want Lord Jesus Christ to come into your life, I want you to put up your hands. People, this is serious. This is what is you what is going to when you come to stand before God, this is what is going to count. Your decision today. I want you to pray after me. Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I am a sinner. I come to you. I heard your voice. Your word is true. Your word is truth. Your word is life. I ask you, Lord Jesus, to wash me with your precious blood. Lord, you died for me. The Bible says you died for my sin. You rose on the third day. And you went up sitting on the right hand of your father. I believe that, Lord Jesus. I declare that with my mouth. I believe it with my heart. I confess it with my tongue that you are Lord and Savior of my life. Amen. I'm going to pray for you. Father God, we thank you for this precious moment. Lord, we want to ask you that you will through your spirit, Lord, guide each and every one, Lord God, to read the Bible, to fall in love with your word, to use your word, Lord God, so that they can know that you alone are Lord and Savior. Father, we ask that through the word of God, through the Bible, that they will know you. They will know you as Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. Father, we ask that you will protect them if there is someone that is sick, even in their household, Lord, that you will heal them. If there is someone crying out to you, Lord God, now in their heart, that you will touch them, that you will be a God near to each and every one here. Because the Bible teaches us, Lord, that so God loved this world that He gave His only begotten Son. So for those who ever believe in Him will be saved. They will not perish. And we say thank you in Jesus' name. We also thank you, Father, for the food. And we thank you for Arman. We ask that you will bless him. We will bless this business. And Lord God, it is all about you. It is all about you. And we say thank you in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah, bless.